select board, we asked the Planning Commission to come and talk to us about their recommendation for the Zoning Administrator. Do you want to do that in an open session, or would you like to do that in an executive session? I would like it in an executive session, please. I know, I'm asking the agreed. select board. Well. Yeah, agreed. Okay. Agreed, yeah. It's a personnel matter. All right. It should be an executive session. Is that a motion, Mark? Mm -hmm. Yes, I move, we move, we go, I, I first move that, I move we go into executive session on the grounds that the grounds for executive session are present and that this is a personnel map. And we have to, we want okay. to, and we have to invite Jan in. To we, yes, and invite the... Oh, and commission. then we should invite Jan and any other planning commission member who happens to be present, I can't tell. Yeah. I'll second. Into the meeting. I'll second that. All right, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 And let's do the town plan. All right. Okay. Okay. Um, That's it. Yep. Thank you. For coming. Right. You want a brownie? No thanks. But planning commission's public hearing is October nineteenth. Yep. Thank you. I expect you all there. I'll be there. <laughs> um, additions and changes to the agenda. David Healy emailed me probably maybe an hour ago. Maybe a half. Forty. Yeah, maybe about an hour, hour or more ago. He's on his way back from Maine, and he's scheduled to present at 8 about CD Fiber. But he doesn't think he's going to be back in time. So I wanted to know if the board objected to hearing about REMC and the opioids settlement notice first, and then let David Healy go after that. Is that all right with everybody? Yeah, it works. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Are we not doing road commissioner at 7.15, though? Yeah, he's right here. Oh. Yeah, it's here. Oh, hello. So the um, Too far warrants, the warrants are circulating. Um, pass the later brownies around to everybody. Rick. Thanks. Um, okay. Mm, Alfred, you're up. Denise, do you want to share your screen or something? I'm getting there, Mark. Uh, okay. I just can't see much of it. Okay. Um, 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 let's see. Oh, you know what we need to do first, I forgot, was to approve the purchase of a new computer for the town trooper. Her computer died. And she needs a new workstation that's a permanent workstation over in the town office. Um, and we got a quote on that, and it was, I don't know if there is a quote in here. Oh yeah, workstation quote. Here we go. Mark, can you see that document? Mark? Yep. You can see? Okay, good. The total cost Yes, being, I can. Okay, the total cost of the workstation is $16.49. Um, and you'll remember when we recently authorized the purchase of a laptop for Jeremy, there was an issue with supply and demand. Apparently, that's not such an issue with standalones. So the same thing sort of applies here as it did when we authorized the purchase of one for Jeremy that would need to come out of the um, technology reserve fund. So would, does anybody object to a new computer for the treasurer? Okay, then I would make a motion that we move forward and authorize the purchase of a new computer for the town treasurer Consistent with the quote from RB Tech. Second. All right. Any further discussion, Mark? Any questions? No. Okay. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Mark, can you aye. say it out loud? Okay. Thank you. Aye. Aye, aye, Captain. Okay. Next up. That's the quote. All right, next up, Weck. Hello, Mr. Weck. Should I you shall. Well, please. Take it away, Bill. Okay. You met you met on site with Alfred? Uh, more than once. More than once. Yes. Okay. 
So uh, today we should have received an email with amended language to. Yeah, it's on the screen. Okay. So are there questions? Um, so, so in essence, what the road commissioner has asked the cop to do is pay for a part of the future work, and we've agreed in writing to do that. Okay. And we left off with. Um, Where we left off when we were here, what was it the last meeting? On the twenty seventh. Twenty seventh. That you weren't, you had agreed in good faith not to move forward, and that the line was going to go underground. And then, because Alfred raised concerns about the culvert issue, you agreed to look at putting the lines up above. And there was a James Dugan from the State Historic Preservation Office that raised a concern. <coughs> Did. Whatever, what happened with that? So can I, before I respond, can I just follow up? The, you've got the right sequence, but Dugan was not, we didn't present anything but the approved permit process, what I call plan A. So the, the concern that he got involved in doesn't relate to what I call plan B, where there's a new pole. Oh, okay. Next to so there was no issue there. And when we met with the state last Friday and last Monday, you know, that wasn't part of the conversation. We did not at all refer to anything other than the original plan A that you've approved. So when you say you met with the state on Friday, was that the HPC, state I, HPC? As I said, I've met with different people from that office twice in the past week. Okay. Building on Monday and then again on Friday with the state archaeologist, Scott um, Dillon. Say what? Scott Dillon is the name of the Yeah, okay. And they didn't have any, I mean, they had their opportunity to raise concerns if they had any right yeah, now. Yeah, I, I really don't want to speak for those folks. I'd say that the meeting is fine and that they, you know, what we heard them say is there's no issue, but I, can, I, can, I don't want to speak for them. Mm -hmm. um, so select board, what would you, so you're recommending that we move forward with what is up here is like plan B? No, plan B is gone. This is essentially the same as the permit that's already been approved. Uh, okay. Approved with, with added language uh, stating that WIC is going to pay for the pulling of the wire uh, when the time comes, you have to replace that call. Okay, so what, what this says is WIC is preparing this will permit, raise, blah, blah, blah. When the town has its future culvert replacement project approved, then we'll open the switches to each side. Wuck will feed the lines. Wuck will pull the power. The conduit will be removed. When the town has completed the culvert, you'll put the poles back. And then somewhere I saw you said something about Wuck would pay. It's not on this particular document. The one I sent you this afternoon. This one? Yeah, I would say that was the original, but before the added language today, that Alfred approved. So it was in your email at 2 o'clock today to all the board and mm -hmm. Jeremy. And I neglected it was, to put Essentially, it was, it was that same document that you mm -hmm. got. But my concern was it didn't really specify that WIC was going to pay Right, yeah, they, I didn't see your so latest one Bill. Bill's saying well. that there's another, there's another one that he revised, mm -hmm. uh, clarifying that, making sure that it's, it's in writing. Did, there. did it go to the full board? You, John, uh, Rick. Rick, do you see that Alfred, in your email? I, I am not seeing it in my email right here now. I'm in there. Let me just see if I... Uh, and my, I got my email here too, I forgot. Um, if I can figure out how to get to it. I don't... I, I didn't work today, there, so I didn't. I wasn't at the computer. Let me just make sure I'm getting. Um, supposedly that's not it, is it? Or something? Oh, 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 sorry. Well, supposedly I can get to my email from here, but I don't seem to be able to. No, nope. I don't think that's. No, never mind. It's a different, yeah, that was a different work permit. You. Oh, wait, you know what? Here, I do have it because it was sent to my personal email and not my Cala Select Board. I forwarded it. Okay, here it, so here it is. I've got it. 
So I've got the I've got one that you sent. I don't know what time this was. Seven hours ago. Sounds right. About right. Mm -hmm. Um. Still, it's this one doesn't still doesn't say. Did you just add a sentence saying? Oh we, yeah, WEC will pay the cost for disconnection and reconnection of the three phase and communication lines and relocation under the future culvert coordinating with the town road commissioner. Okay, got it. Yeah. So that's an email but not in the folder? Yeah, I didn't see this. Um, to Jeremy as well. so, yeah, but Jer uh, Jeremy it needs to go to Katie. Oh. Yeah, that's okay. Um, all right, well, so essentially the, it's just covering right. My so what we can do, we just want to make sure the right the right document is on the record. <laughs> right. So we what we could do is we could well we already approved this. Um, so it's a, it's so a clarification is, of something we already approved. Right. So it's sort of like an amendment. So we just the existing permit that we approved on September. So I make an exception. I make a seven. I make a motion that we accept. Me. Oh, August twenty fourth. I make a motion that we accept the amendment to the WEC per permit approved on August twenty fourth. Right, and then I can just. I'll second that. We can just send this amendment to. Attach. Does that make sense, everybody? Yeah. Mark, are you good with that? I am. I'll vote yes. Okay. I'll vote All yes. those in favor, please say aye. 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 Okay. Good. And then what's the, how does it get how does the right version get on file in the town office? I will send it to to Jeremy to attach to the permit that we approved on August twenty fourth, and he can make that part of the land records. And it's in the meeting minutes. Yeah. And the, yeah, and I usually attach the minutes. Thank you all. Yep. Okay. Anything thank you. Else for me? Come you good? Off, David. Thank you. Okay. Thanks, Bill. Um. All right. Rip, I need my pen. Now I have to get back into the drive. Yours bad is John. I, know I learned to bring more than one pen because... Yeah, they steal your pens, don't they? No, I usually they, bring they them like today. Them. Mark's a pen thief. I know my pens. Okay, agenda back here. All right, so we've done WEC. Um, I notified Mr. Carmichael that this was going to be on the agenda for tonight. This is the one where you thought that he already put in the curb cut. He says he didn't. He said he would come to our meeting when we scheduled it. I sent him the agenda, sent him an email, and again, I don't see him here. Yeah, I, I met with him on site, and he sort of explained what he did and why he did it. Uh, he had a a Connex box. A what? Connex box. It's the use <coughs> for storage. Uh, it was being delivered and the truck was having a hard time getting down into the field where he wanted it. So he put some base gravel in, three inch minus for a base, uh, so the truck could get in and out. And he could have his Connex box delivered. So that to me is is, is curb cut. I mean that's the, to, to an access. It's entering, right. it's entering mm -hmm. our road. Uh, but I sort of nicely scolded him and said that you know this is not acceptable. You did the work before approval, and let's not let it happen again. Did you clean it up? Well, there was nothing really to clean up. It's. Um, I mean, if this is approved, he's going to add more gravel to it. Yeah, there's not a pipe going in, in other words. There's no, yeah, there's that's no right, that was what the permit required. Yeah. The site distance is great. Um, so the site is, all right. He just brings it up to spec at that point. To the yeah. All right, so, the, um, so he acknowledges work was done before permitted. I mean, he's very, he's very apologetic and mm -hmm. just making sure that he you know, doesn't want. Before permitted, um, 
due to other circumstances, I guess. <laughs> No, we don't need to be done until Right. Okay, and... I do, do think you, we should note that he acknowledges that it shouldn't have happened. Yeah, that's what I said. Acknowledges work done before permitted due to other circumstances. Is that good enough? It's fine for me. You know, I just want to make sure that it's really more about not encouraging other people to do the same thing. Make sure we say whatever needs to be said for that. Yeah. Um, well, like I said, I nicely scolded him. You know, he, he recognized that he did wrong. And okay, so applicant acknowledges wrongdoing. Not, how about we, applicant acknowledges not following process. Okay, and now back to the actual site. You said the site distance meets yep. standards? Site distance is fine. Okay, okay I want to say site distance meets standards. Yep. And there's no culvert required because it's below the road and water is going to find its own way. Okay. And he'll go, he'll bring that to the B-71 and then... Right. Yeah, I mean that's in the, in the permit. Right. Already, but maybe, yeah. maybe just a... Yeah, I've got it on here. Meets site, site, meets site distance requirement, standards B-71, right? Uh, well, that'd be the design. The MB seventy one design. design. Yeah, that's just the yeah geometry. For him to meet that, he's gonna have to bring in a fair amount of fill. So it's good to have that handwritten mm -hmm. so that he's yeah. reminded of it. Meet B seventy one design. Your standard. Design standards. Mm hmm. Okay. Okay, anything else, select board, for this? All right. I'll move that we approve that, as, as noted. And noted? As noted. Okay. Yeah. Um, all right, today. Second. Mark? Second. All right, all those in favor, please, favor, please say aye. 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 Um, any opposed? Hearing none. Motion carries, I'll send this around for signature. All right, next up is Neil Maker. All right, how you doing? Good. Good. All right, so you are looking to You, I know where your house is, and then there's the field. This is uh, not my house. I'm on behalf of Sam Potter and Mary Blake, who bought the property. Okay. It was Janet Ansel's. Okay, yeah. I'm helping them with a logging job, so I was doing this. But um, it's a curve cut going into the field off of Kent Hill Road, kind of up yep. the hill but across from the tavern so that they can get in there to mow the field and so that we can put a landing for a logging job in the woods on the other side of the field. So it's more like a farm access type. Yep. Is it just, is it temporary or is it permanent? We were going to make it a permanent thing and put a, talk to Alfred and talked about putting the culvert in and um, so that they have easier access for mowing that field and stuff. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. have you looked at the site? I have, yeah. The site distance again is beautiful. It's a great, it's plenty of distance. Uh, it does require a culvert. Okay, so wait a minute. So, site distance meets standards. I'll get it right eventually. <laughs> Me too. It does, it meets standards. We need to, just fine. we need to formalize the form. Yeah, we do. So you'll have 
So we can just check boxes. Then all you do is check boxes, put your little initials there, mm -hmm. your big mm -hmm. initials. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the applicant fills them out for the most part. Well, but you could look at the the form. applicant. Yeah, that's a whole. Yeah, that's not what I have. That that's not what we've talked about. I mean, they're still going to fill out their form, right? But for you to have something that actually notes, you know, lists the standards, so you're saying yes meets, yes meets. Right. Right. Okay. So, um, culvert. I couldn't hear what you said. Uh, Fifteen inch culvert. No special clearing or anything that you need to do. No, it's like I said, it's, it's open side line. Distance is very clear. I think, yeah, I know where it is, and I, yeah, yeah it's pretty yeah. good there. Um, once once this is installed, you know, the town will have to go and clean the ditch because right now we've got we've got like a water runoff mm -hmm. off the side water, of the road, water bar above it, water bar, yeah. So um, we'll just have to get rid of that water bar and let the water come down to the culvert that's installed so yeah, after you get that put in if it's not freezing ground <laughs> I'll come and uh, you know shake the ditch okay so sooner's better for you to yes absolutely okay. yeah now, do we need to specify that this is like a farm access versus you know so if if there is a change of use on that land like a, a building you know, we, somebody wants to build a house this? there. I mean, I don't know. Are they already going to build it to the B seventy one for? Yeah, I, well, I, I see. think it's a curb. <coughs> it should be built to the B seventy one, regardless of its yeah. use. Once you grab it, I, if it's built. But to I think that, what I'm hearing, what I thought I heard you say was, right now we think it's just going to be for logging and that kind of a curb cut access. And what, are you asking if somebody decided they wanted to build a house there, would they need to come back? Right, I'm asking to change, question, to change no. use of the curb cut. It wouldn't if it no. if it's built to the B seventy one. We I don't know if we differentiate here. No. Between because we curb have cuts it sometimes. Curb cut. Yeah. Okay. Right of ways and stuff like that can be specific, but okay. So site site meets standards. Site distance meets standards. 15 inch culvert and follow B71 standards. Is, is that all? Mm -hmm. Is that it? Uh -oh. mm -hmm. I think so. Yeah. That's about it. That's everything. Yeah. My pen is running out of range. Well, I got another one. So I might have another one. I got another one in this car. All right. Is there anything else, Mark? Do you have any questions? No, I don't. Okay. So I would make a motion that we approve the curb cut um, with the conditions that it it's, meets site distance standards, 15 inch culvert, and follow the B71 standards. Is there a second? Second. Okay. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 And it's right. actually, it's, this is a small thing, but it's not on the condition that, it's because it meets, right? It, it does meet and it will be installed consistent with that. But like the site stuff is already does meet. Yeah. Right, the yeah, site distance. Well, yeah. the site distance no, meets it. I'm supposed to go back and inspect And then the, right. um, okay. And, and our conditions are this 15 inch culvert and it follows this B71 standards. Okay. Um, all right. That one needs to be signed. Thanks, Neil. Thank you all. Thank you. Oh, wait a minute. Thanks, Neil. Yeah, thank you. Hi. Oh, sorry. Next up is um, status of the hiring for a road crew. I know Barbara did some additional advertising for you. Yeah, well, I asked her to see if I didn't, wasn't sure if they were run and I found out that they were not well we had been run she had been running them for you and she was right. right it's been like a month or more since it's been since it was run. so yeah. when I found that out I, I asked her if she would please run them and whatever yeah. when was that whatever it cost this was two days ago oh and so well, last end of last week yeah so I think she was waiting for you to give her a direction so, 
you've done that, so the ads will run again. Right. Um, and we're putting in a, you're putting in a thing that like kind of highlights the benefits involved. Here. Yes, the world, was it the world or Times Argus? Uh, Hardwick put is that? another with the same words, the same wording. It just was, you know, sort of bolded the picture of the, of the you know, yep. of the help wanted. And it's, uh, so from what I'm hearing, it's across the board. It is. Yeah, it is everywhere. It's, I it went to Shaw's in Montpelier on Saturday, mm -hmm. Saturday afternoon. And the deli was closed because there's nobody to work. Yeah. On a Saturday afternoon, it's like, that's a pretty popular place on a Saturday afternoon. We're the seeing it in all the construction yeah. contractors, everybody, we deal with it in the state. Right. I mean, the question is, do we want to, you know, for us, I mean, we, what we don't, if we can avoid being caught short-handed this winter, we want to do that. We should be looking pretty rapidly. If we don't get a fast response, mm -hmm. I think we should try having, you know, a signing bonus or something like that. I mean, anything well, I we can to incentivize this so we can. Well, but also we talked a couple of weeks ago about um, a contingency plan. And well, I, I was just going to mention yeah, that. We I don't remember. Didn't we have a date specific? Next, when next meeting. Next meeting, Alfred's going to come back with a contingency plan. Uh, Looking forward to that, Alfred. But this, this and it's not well, going to be. I've been working on it a little bit right. already, but that's not the solution. It's not the solution. No, but it this might be a the, temporary. It, it's not it a, a, temporary. Con a contingency <laughs> plan. Is never the solution. It's it system. is a plan. It's our backup for it's, emergency. It's a preparedness thing. Yeah. You have to be prepared for because even if we hire somebody, you know. You're already, it's all, everybody, you know, Shaw's contingency plan obviously includes shutting the deli right. on Saturday afternoons. Not ideal, has to be done. We have to, what we'll have to do too, there for a couple yeah. of reasons, a big one in this too, is aside from having an emergency backup, but it gives us some prep time to get out before bad weather hits on things like front porch form. We've got to inform right. people. This is, look guys, right. we don't have the bandwidth. Right. You know, so we're, we're going to have to decrease service. Right. So make plans. Well, that's it, where. So we want to define that as best we can, and it, I know it's a little bit of a moving target. Well, and you don't. Yeah, and when you have to implement that plan, Alfred, because the circumstance is going to arise, whether you plan for it or you don't. If it arises, it arises. Mm -hmm. So the point is to plan for it, so you know when. Oh shucks, I'm down to three people. This is the plan, rather than. Oh shucks! Oh shucks! Now I got to make a plan, and it's four a.m. Right, so you don't have to. Yeah, you want to be able to just take a minute. You don't want to have to do triage. Right, yeah, you're not shooting from the hip at the last minute. Instead, we know the plan. We have communicated it to the town. Right, in the meantime, let's try to get. I mean, I would think something like the signing bonus is an obvious one. That that resonates money. Mm -hmm. You know, and what. We'll, we don't want to be in that situation. It's not going to be a good scenario. So. Well, and then I wondered, um, and I mentioned this to Rick, and as I thought more about it, I don't think I don't even think it would work, even if it could work, because of insurance. Because, you know, could we contract with East Montpelier to do a portion of that end of town? But then, as I got to thinking about it, it might, even if they said yes, I don't know. How insurance-wise, something like that would work, whether you know if it was Woodbury or Worcester or Don't East Montpelier. Right. We've, we've sort of got that already in place. Right. Um, you know, it's sort of the same idea as mutual aid when fire when fire trucks need mm -hmm. yep. one town to another. Sort of the same thing. It's I've talked with Cabot. I've talked with East Montpelier, and they all say, "Let's just work it out." We'll work it out amongst ourselves, mm -hmm. and if, we, if one of us needs a truck or, or a man or yes, I know we loan sometimes we loan these not pay our spare right. truck. Question but is, can we manage that big a chunk? We're we're down, say, if, if we're down a quarter of our man hours, you know, that's an awful lot to ask of. Say, we might be able to get a little piece of that back. That's a good idea. That's a way of partially filling that hole. Right, for an emergency, right. but I'm thinking... Right, but this is longer... But this is this is most of the winter. I don't right. think that's going to be... Well, put a real hard... Put them under a real hardship. Well, in the emergency... Right, no, I mean, that would be... That's sort of a short-term fix, but yeah. it's still a fix. It's there. I mean, well, it's but place. can we get more clear about that? Because... We, well, 
if if we had an emergency, that's what kind of emergency <coughs> would what kind of emergency would warrant would would not warrant, but if I guess I'm going to have to say if if we had a snow emergency, Cabot's got a snow emergency too. So what kind of war, what kind of emergency lends itself to Cabot or East Montpelier helping us? Well, if we were to have a truck go down, say we blew a motor on a truck and we we're short of a truck, right? We could figure out routes mm -hmm. between me and another road commissioner to figure out how they how we could fill that route. But having but permanently or semi permanently not having this other road crew person, I think is different. Right. It is. It's it's, it's a, different. Right. That's those are MOUs for emergency circumstances, so they're short. You know and that in terms of insurance, we already do, don't we? A little bit of just efficiency. Like isn't there something like over in my part of town where you do a little East Montpelier on the edge, and they do a little Callus yeah, yeah, on the edge. Yeah. Right, but that's, right, but I'm thinking if we had this. Right, but in terms of insurance, I'm, so this, so I'm asking that to go with the insurance question. Yeah. So if if an East Montpelier employee is allowed to drive the truck and do work in Callus, it's still covered under East Montpelier's insurance, right? Yes. Are there any limitations on that that we're aware of? Well, that's not kind of my question. Is right. And I, and I don't know the answer. I didn't have time is it to check it out. Is it X number that, of hours? That truck, that truck is insured no matter where. That's what driving. I'm thinking. Is it no it, no is where it's driving? If it's Callis, East Montpelier, or Burlington, mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a it's a municipal insured. employee driving in a municipal truck. Right. They and might have something different to say town. if our Orca man were driving it. Right. Yeah. But okay. Well, that's good. I just wanted that. To that that makes sense to me. Yeah. I just I, wanted to be clear on that. Does that make sense it to does. you? I mean, yeah. Yeah, it's it does. Makes, it, it makes it sense. Covers, now we keep saying it out loud. Sense. I hope somebody somewhere tells us we're wrong about that assumption. I mean, you would think. It looks, no, so that doesn't have limitations on it. In a scenario for X where. X number of hours or something. Yeah. That in was, a scenario where, let's say. A just thought it was truck, worth bringing up. The no, I agree. I agree. In a scenario where, a, let's say, it's my family was plowing up some road section for us. If they hit. Let's say they hit another car, a passenger car, and they were, I mean, some lawyer might come after both entities, right? Because they're going to... They might. It would no, be no, town no, of Callis no, plus... Because, is it was an East Montpelier Well, it's driving. a town. Yeah, but if it's, it was a, a it's, all, it's, be, it's all covered if, through value. If, if there was a contract, yeah. if the town of Callis if there was something in writing with the town of East Montpelier, then that might, they might be able to come back on both. Right. If, right. We're, if we're just doing a swap, that truck that gets in the accident is insured. Is no it? matter if it hits okay. a yeah. Callis okay. resident or a Burlington resident, it doesn't matter. That truck is insured for mm -hmm. whatever so we, it's doing. So if we had a contract, and that no matter might where it is. as long as it's as long as it's municipal work. Right. Right. Yeah. right. And if there's a contract, if there was a contract in writing that East Montpelier is going to do blah 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 for the season of December through March, then that might be different. Right. If we had, but a, we don't we have that contract where right. that's right. If it was spelled out as to what they were doing, and it was clear that it's the Callus Road, and they're working for Callus, it would be our insurance. A good lawyer could probably say, "Well, Callus, you hired this guy, and sure. they're coming after you for for repairs." Right. Okay. For but damages. but okay. yeah. But we're not. But we're not there. We're not there. That's well, right. I'm not suggesting we be there. Right. Ever. Okay. I'm just. Well, this is why I think. Well, we I was just throwing out an idea. We're going for the immediate. Let's try to get somebody on step. That's right. the ideal. The thing we'd want to know is 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 the priority route. Because there might be the question, another possibility is that not hiring, say, an East Montpelier, but is there, can we hire private contractors to do, if we had certain things that we had to get done, but we don't have the bandwidth, we may have to go that route. So we'd want to know right, what those so routes were that we couldn't cover, and then can we find... A local contractor. A local contractor. I mean, there's several. That would be part of the contingency plan. That's, that's right. right. That's what we thought of that, and I would put that in there as, as an option. You know, an option. Okay. If we could find someone. Right. Now, these right. Tru right. These yeah. trucks that that do the job we do are pretty mm -hmm. well set. I mean, they're they're, they're specialized. They're specialized yeah. for for yeah. plowing roads. Now, you know, there's not many contractors that have that set up. Mm -hmm. 
So some of your one some of your contingency planning is going to be around the assumption that we cannot get it all done, right? It has to be. Yes, absolutely. Okay. And all which right. are going to be the that's which are the which are the main we're arteries, we're school three, bus roads? With three guys. Yeah, and do yep. we are at risk? Right. And, you know, and Van yep. Camola Road, road oh, might get only get plowed once. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, the well, secondary. I think, I think that they'll they'll all get plowed eventually, but we're not going to meet that seven o'clock done plowing every right. day. Right. Right. I think that's. I think that's. The, the, what's most important is that we. Is that we have that kind of planning in place because the the. The, the emergency you know trucks out. Um, if you know those things are going to happen all the time. I like that way of thinking because that we've talked about that kind of thinking before as ways of just being more efficient across towns. And we can also, if we know some of these things are a possibility, we can let folks know through Front Porch Forum, exactly. and we can let folks know. If it's a really bad storm, check the website because we can get somebody, one of the webmasters, to put up a, a ribbon. I think they call it a ribbon. You know, notice, you know, contingency plan, whatever, a, a is, in is, in, is in place. Right. Yep. Here's the link to see the plan. Yeah, orange, orange. Code orange. Code orange. Code orange. <laughs> Code orange. Yeah. No, that's um, great. And, that's and that way, or and, then, and we could post something on Front Porch Forum the day before. Snowstorm event likely to happen. It's possible or right. definitely. Check, check the website for further details. We'll know, we'll, you know, we'll put it up on the website if plan B is in place or plan D or whatever. Well, I think mainly that too, it's like getting it sooner rather than later. So we can start that education. I think that's going to be, right? that's, that's going to be such a huge stress relief, believe it or not, to, to know that we foresaw this mm -hmm. scenario, we planned for it, you have the resources you need for this scenario, everybody knows, go. Right, and you know, and there's gonna, we're gonna get pushback, some people we won't, will. Yeah. won't yeah. like it, but at least we're, we're being proactive. And that gets it off right. Alfred's back, frankly. Exactly, right. puts that's it on my us point. So we can deal with that. Yes. You shouldn't be having to deal with that fight. Yep, as long while as you're we trying, trying to keep the road safe. Yeah, we yeah. want, yeah. yeah, that's, and yeah. that if we're if we're able to define it early enough then we can well and we can yeah, we when can. we have the plan we can post it yeah um, we can it. send it around on front porch forum get on the website, like people people on. will object to some of it probably but we're going to do the best we can to maintain the roads i think we can actually i think we might have mentioned this before i'm 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 happy to do this we can actually Outside of the agenda, let people know we are starting to do contingency planning. It's really hard to hire. This is going to be a topic at our next select board meeting. So, I mean, we're being that proactive and letting people know that we're. Services. Well, we can service. certainly put it on the agenda for next time. I like that. I do too. And then have. Um, yeah, be, maybe be Uber, have, you know, Uber, Uber clear. Contingency. Um, can winter, I, winter road maintenance contingency plan. Let's. Why don't right? we do this? Can mm -hmm. we? Because I've already asked to have this the hiring on every agenda forward until we get that filled. And then let's put those side by side because they're really related. Hiring challenges. And? Call it hiring challenges. Hiring, hiring challenges. challenges, yeah. That yep. sounds good. Cause and, then then, and then contingency planning. That ought to be a good heads up to people. Winter road maintenance contingency planning. Yeah. And then status of road crew hiring challenges. So the road crew hiring challenges first and then winter road maintenance. I think, I think this contingency, contingency plan. plan is going to be sort of a working prog. Yeah, so well. It's, it's not going to just happen. Well, and as it's you. It's going to be. No, we're, you were going to. I'm going to bring ideas to it. I'm, you know, I'm going to, you know, ask others for ideas. Yeah. yeah. And it's Can you going check to, with local roads be, too? It's just going to be a working <clears> process. It's not going to happen over Yeah, and that's Bring what you've got and we'll discuss it too. We'll have ideas. I yeah, think you should check with local roads. The, yeah, if have, check, yeah, 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 I'm sure that's on your list. Yeah. If, if you, Alfred, it will be a work in progress, but definitely just lock yourself into cells, like an Excel, you know, not literally, but like an, an Excel, like, okay, scenario where I've got three guys. I've only got three guys. What do I do? 
that's it. Just lock yourself right into that thinking. I've got four guys, but three trucks. What am I going to do? And then think of things like the road priority, because that's really important, because there's some things yeah. that are going to need it more often. Right. Yeah. Right. Like maybe school, yes. school bus and then I think that's right. right. It's a weekend. It's a school that day. We're going to be able to uh, change anything. So the only way we're going to keep up is if we minus some of the roads. Right. Or we put some of course. Of them and what we're, what we're doing is giving you permission to actually write that down and say, if I only had three guys, this is my plan. Right. I got four guys and one of the trucks broke down. Right. If, so there's all kinds of scenarios. But I want to see if Mark has anything. Well, wait a minute. Mark, Can I just add one thing that's really important? And we want to, and it is. I just want to make sure Mark gets a chance to weigh in. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm fine. I think you guys have covered it. Okay. Well, what we haven't covered, and this is, you usually work with, you give recommendations to the school boards on road conditions. Mm -hmm. The question is, if we like do this scenario planning, it's going to impact those routes. So they're going to have to be specifically notified too. And if we have contingency plans ourselves for reducing it, some of these snow and snow emergency routes might have to be plowed with more frequency. The question is, can they modify their routes? So we don't have to do everything. We well, we should make right. sure. I'll make sure that we invite school board members. Yeah, we should. Yeah. At Scott. least our contingent. Yeah. And well, can, and the and the principal. The school board. It would be it's generally the. Is it Washington the? Central is it supervisory union? union? Yeah. Well, they usually have a bus committee. I was on it for a while. That's when I was on the school board. Or, you know, and they. And they've got to be happy that we're thinking right. about this. Well, definitely the first time. student who's I, I think. Haven't gotten the roots. Wow. Uh, huh. I know that they've added another bus. So yeah, I heard that. There's four buses. Yeah. Uh, well, first, so that, of course, it's going to change the routes and the location of each bus. So yeah. I, I will well, reach I think out they, and try to get that here so we can. Well, and I think they should know, come the school board to, this, and to the meeting next time because you've got to know what those routes are or else you can't do contingency planning. Yes. Right. They right. usually send it to me. Well, usually we have a meeting down there. Yeah. We have lunch and we talk about plans, what worked last year, what didn't work. Yeah, I remember you guys used to do that. all the commissioners in the district. Have um, they, and they haven't done that yet? They haven't done that yet, no. So that should be the, like the school yeah. board representatives, whoever's managing that school busing. Yeah. Issue, and then simultaneously right. first student, because I think first student's probably still doing the contracting, right? They do the route planning, per se. I mean, they... They actually do all the. They do. They, we want them in the room if we right. start getting into these nitty gritty conversations because right. they're the. That's the logistical piece. They're going to know mm -hmm. what that means to trim something off. The, the school board people won't. So okay. we'll want to get them. Well, and Cat Fair should be aware too of what's going on. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right? But it's more. All right, so can we move on? Mm -hmm. All right. So, yeah. you know. I mean, we won't have a final plan, I don't think, next meeting, but we'll get, the, it's getting started. That's always the hardest part, is to get started. Okay, so let's talk about, oh, did you have anything else? You didn't give me anything else for the agenda, so I'm no, assuming you don't. No, there isn't. I mean, we still, I gotta figure out something, what we're gonna do with Ed. He is now not interested in full time. Okay. Because he doesn't want to. He doesn't want that commitment. Yeah. Well, he doesn't want to freeze the, his retirement. Mm -hmm. Is his biggest issue. And uh, his uh, insurance. Health insurance. Health insurance. Uh, he's unclear as to mm -hmm. which would be which would. But the biggest thing is he doesn't want to freeze his retirement, and he doesn't want to. He knows he doesn't want to work another five years mm -hmm. to invest in the second retirement. Yeah. Okay. So okay. he's willing to stay with us and work, but he the main thing he wants is some of the benefits, like the holidays. He wants some holidays. He wants. You mean know, paid? Yes. Yeah, and well, that's maybe. the one thing that I hear him. Okay. Well, that's right, the most. And, I mean, I suppose we could do up some kind of a letter of temporary employment paid he wants paid holidays is that pretty much it that's what i'm hearing okay well let's see what we can do and uh
still I'm still nervous about whether it's okay for us to have him full time or be you know, working forty hours and not be full time. Yeah, I bet. Sorry, I got to check the personal <coughs> Yeah, uh, I'll check. Not twenty. I think I think anything over twenty hours. That I know at the state. Right. To meet this it's, kind of it, federal. It's ten forty hours. Of the state has ten forty as part time. It was. And then twenty four. That's the full time. That's the total cap. But we also couldn't exceed. Right. I've hired temps before at the state. Right. And, and I can't, can't exceed those hours. I can't do thirty hours one week and ten the next. If, you ex if we exceeded the twenty, that could get us in trouble. That's why. Yep. They were real specific when I and I don't know the laws or but I know I was warned by HR people yep. when we did it that we couldn't. All right, let me check with. Um, so that's. Let me check yeah. with Jim on I mean, temporary I think hours. In the personnel policy it says two to thirty or thirty-two. Thir well, and that's is the, is maybe <coughs> that's that's the, the cutoff for benefits. Yeah. For benefits. Yeah. But yeah. It not like for instance the assistant town clerk and treasurer. Um. That's a regular position, position, you know. Right. It's a regular schedule. It's a regular to. Well, it's a regular position. It's not a temporary. So if that position were to go to, you know, 32 hours a week, then that position would be eligible for benefits. But it's different because it's not temporary. It's right. Permanent. Right. Permanent part time. Well, I guess if you can. Just give me a number. What the, what the legal and okay number is mm -hmm. per week? I can work the schedule to right. so I only work him to that number of hours. Okay. Uh, if it's thirty-two, I can. I'm well, sorry, use I missed the beginning. I'll, have, I'll double check cool. the well, personnel policy. I just don't want us to get in trouble. I don't want the town to get in trouble right. for exceeding with, with so many hours of a temporary. Because we're calling somebody who should be full time, part time. Well, no, no, we're, no, 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 we're not. No, we're calling him. There's we're a calling big him part time, but and no, he has to be. We have to be consistent. He has to be called a temporary. Yeah, temp. Right. No, I'm. Yeah, I don't think that you have to leave here with any question. I agree with what Denise just said. A ter temporary person, seasonally hired, to who may or may not be working 32 hours a or week more. or more. Um, you, is not subject to benefits and is, and that's the difference between a permanent part right. time and a temporary. Right, would be subject absolutely to overtime for going over forty hours. Right, but not. Which could happen. Though. Yeah, Once but he would get right. But that do, but that has nothing to do with benefits. Benefits are a permanent position working at least thirty two hours. Two hours. Well, that's our that's our standard. That's our policy. Right. Right. It used no, to be fewer. Right, and I'm not right. afraid of us getting in trouble with Ed or Ed getting us in trouble. I just don't want the labor and industry or somebody finding out that we're working this guy 40 hours mm -hmm. right. or more and then say, well, wait, wait a minute. Why isn't he getting benefits or why isn't he getting... Now, if he's I just want to be clear. That's yeah, all. As a temporary... It's been going on for a, a while now and it's going right. well, to continue to go. When, oh, you, when you talk about it, make sure you say it's temporary and not part-time because temporary could mean you know one hour a week or 30 hours a week usually like a permanent part-time has a schedule yeah scheduled number of hours period okay well it's a it's a position who's you know it's it's a position that yeah I used to deal with this like a job description and, and that, yeah, that, I mean, that would have been subject, though, to the labor contracts. Right. Alfred's right. I mean, wage an hour, but... <coughs> not in this... No, a temporary... Over 40 hours, we would be paying overtime. Right. Yeah, because you have to. Yes. Right. And that's true under the wage an hour laws. Yeah. Right. That, even you're, even, that you're flagging. Yeah. Right, even for temporary. Okay. okay, we need to keep moving unless there's something else. But next meeting should be good. I'm looking forward to. Yeah. Coming up. How much time should up. we set aside? Probably a good chunk. Forty-five I think, minutes. I think an no, hour, no, 45. hour. Forty-five minutes. You think? I, well, between the two items, yeah. Alfred, Ollie. can you get us something ahead of time to look at? I can try. Yeah. Try, try hard. Well, I try hard at everything. I know you do. But I also have to manage. I know. 
the guys in, and we're going to start putting in putting trucks together, putting plows on and stuff. Oh, so. right, it's getting that time. There's no, like, there's not even frost predictions. Alfred, I it's will meet with you ahead of time to help you just document your thinking. Or I Rick, was, Rick, is, yeah. Rick is, like, lives in your world more than I do. So I'm actually would, emailing you right now. He would get it more than I. On, on the other hand, you'd have base. to explain yourself really clearly, which would be good practice if it were me. Yeah, I, I mean, I'm going to just keep me on the basics that we well. just talked about. Yeah. And to, yeah. We don't, this doesn't have to be a finished plan. Let's get started. Yeah, just get, let's have a if list. Can, right. I'm doing it. I'm emailing it to them. And it'll be, you know, it'll be, let's look at a rough priority of routes that we'd want to keep or not right. keep. And we'll base that on. Different you know, scenarios. Yeah, and different need, like s snow emergency. And then we'll want to have, you know, snow if you know of things that are, you know. But, but we, it's always going to be a, with, with a limited, you know, what's the limited resource. So well, we're going to look at that. Well, first we figure out what we got to do you know and then we look at we know if we're short we know we have x number of man hours to work with and you know how long it takes to do a rodeo or well you know to so right. we back into this we back those hours into our priorities we know we've got to I would, do you have the uvm study because i would encourage you to look at <clears throat> their, do, rec their recommendations on the roots just to look at mm -hmm. as you know something to that when you first give you, it to me i have to yeah, go back and look yeah. i already look at it with this in mind. Right, but so. it might, it might, they might have some help with winters in there, I don't know. I've got okay. to figure out a time when I can meet with you because I'm working. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks, right. Sovereign. Thank you. Did you have enough cookies? Yes, yeah, I'm good. Thanks, <coughs> Mark. That's up for you, so. Yeah. So you need some more chocolate then? Yeah, no, I, no I'm good. Thank you, though. Okay. Um, start. Let's talk about regional emergency management. Appointment. Did you get? Did you talk to Betty? Rick? Uh, I have yeah. left messages. I did not get. Her, so. She'd be good. I think she would. Yeah. She Betty, was, who is Betty? <coughs> Betty Copeland. She's really. In, I had a long talk. Betty, Betty Copeland. Copeland. She's been helping us with the local hazard mitigation yeah, plan. Yeah, she's very organized. Very, and she's yeah. done emergency management kind of kind of work yeah. before. She's a high energy. Yeah. Yeah. She's good. So I'm. Trying so can to, we just put you on? Dogging that. I am. I already have. I'm reaching. Okay. Out. As soon as I hear from her, I'll email back. She. So she's a. Oh, she is a Cal's person. She, she come. Right. She came to a, a meeting once, like on Zoom. Right? Yep. If you, yeah. Yep. She's come yep. and she. Yeah. She's been. I met her and Michael. You know who he had first in fitness. Uh, uh, Woodfield. Yeah. Anyway. So with this one more thing, you saw this. Did anybody else get this in the mail, in the like the snail mail? This opioid. Um, I was just national opioid settlement. Let me bring it up. I did not get that. I was looking for my email to see. We yeah. got something that's. Yeah, I forwarded it on. It's also in the Google folder. Let's see if we can bring it up. Here it is. Um, and our town attorney recommends that we just sign on and we would do that through um through him you know nothing there may be nothing come of it or there may be a settlement in the state and therefore the town would receive some type of compensation so jim's jim's suggestion was to go ahead and register no no no, no harm done to register this is not one of those where we had to participate in some work group or something. No. Okay. No. And it's probably going to be, you know, however many years it takes for this to go through right. the settlement process, right? Mark? Right. Yeah. I mean, it's, it, you know, it could be a decade before this, something like this yeah, gets settled. Yeah, there's no reason not to participate. Right. All right. So, shall I make a motion that we. Um, participate in the National Opioid Settlement Notice. Is there a second? Second. Okay, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 Unanimous, thank you. All right, Mr. Healy, you made it back from Maine. I did. Are you running? You're just in time. Where would you like me to be? Um, I'm going to call up your slides. Hi, David. You can join us at the yeah, table. Yeah, table. Sit at the table. Here's your slides. Um, well, thank you for 
indulging in my lateness. Yeah, we just moved a couple things. Around. It's all good. <laughs> if it had been somebody that we were expecting to come in person with one of these items, then it might have been <laughs> so easy. Yeah, it's been, I think it's been a couple months since I've updated it. Yep. Um, come on up, Bill. And a lot has happened, actually. And uh, the reason I'm late is I'm coming in. We spent the day visiting one of the potential operator developers today. It's a company from Maine, which I'll leave unnamed until we decide what we're doing. But so it was really good to see it. We have two top quality candidates to you know, develop and operate the network. So that's good. We're hoping to have them on board by, well, I think I put it down here, sometime in December. Mm -hmm. But in terms of you know, where we're at, we're um, designed a phase build out for what we want to do and how we want to do it. We have the whole inventory going in Calus. It should be finished. It's being done by Eustace. You've probably seen the trucks around. Yeah, poor people, they have a hard time. The GPS doesn't work and yeah, they get lost. Not, I was about to say, I'm not the most happy person camper with Eustace is in their inability to uh, look, know where they are. Yeah, just like um, a, just a ma regular map would be good, huh? <laughs> They're I'm hiring them, find the poles, not <laughs> ask somebody else. Well, you have all, it's all the young people that are used to doing everything on GPS. Yeah. They're not used to a I like, wasn't going to say it out yeah. loud. That's pretty good. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so we're, um, out of that information collecting, we have to file applications to do attachments to the poles. Another process, um, which we'll be doing, and in, in, in our partnership with WIC, we may not have to do, it may not become such a big deal. But right now, we don't know what the partnership is going to look like in terms of we sign an agreement. We have an MOU with WIC uh -huh. to with two other communication union districts to work with them to run fiber in the in in the CD5 district. It's um, 500 and something miles of fiber. Let me know when you want me to go to this and, uh, yeah, I want to finish uh, my stupid um, list of too many words. Um, the next item now is partnering with WEC and Velco with CD Fiber or with the, the town of Calus's money to connect 50 houses in the town office. Is that the 35,000? I don't know where the 35,000 That's the from. number Barry came up with. I know. I'm not listening to Barry anymore. No, oh. Don't tell me. <laughs> Oh, it's already. Hey, oh, did you did you know Barry was on? <laughs> I wouldn't doubt it. In any event, we, we, we're do, and this is this item is very complicated right at the moment because all of a sudden the state of Vermont says it has money, cares money they haven't spent from last year. Hmm. So I on Friday I put in an application for money to do the to do this the, the connections to all the properties between East Montpelier and Calus. Hmm. But the, the, the rub in the whole grant is that they have to be connected by December 31st. Is that possible? It's going to be very hard. But I'm going to, I'm pretending, or I'm not pretending, we're going to do it. Okay. <laughs> but if that grant, if they decide they don't want to give us that money, and um, the potential is there, even without that money, and I'll show you in a minute what I mean, um, we could... For the amount of money I'm going to show on another slide, we could do this thing to the town office by the end. That of would day. be great. Yeah. So we got the operator. Um, the goal is a plan, you, not the goal. You, the plan is to connect every undisturbed house in Calus by the end of 2022. So when you say develop, choose operator, you put out an RFP, correct? We put out an RFP. We got five responses, and we got two. We narrowed it down to two. Two. Okay. And hopefully we're doing a site visit to the second one on Wednesday. And then we'll get together and make a recommendation among the review team and then make a recommendation to the full board. Is there any Vermont local? Yeah, the next one is Vermont. Okay. Yeah. No, what, that, that, interesting. So what does underserved mean? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, any any house that has less than cable is the only the simplest way to put that. So it's less under twenty five. Megabits per per premise. So basically, they have nothing other than a landline. They have land, They have a landline. They have yes, a landline and channel three. Uh, they may. I won't get into television. I don't know about. But television. you said less than cable, so that's. Oh, oh speeds for internet oh, speeds. Oh, this okay. is all about internet speed, not not, okay. not what you use the internet for. Yeah. Okay. And that's an interesting thing. The cable is more than just internet. It's TV too. Yeah. But mm -hmm. This is just pure cable. I mean, so pure 20, internet. This is pure. Twenty-five internet. up down. 
25. Uh, well, cable only gives you three up. So it's 25 down, three up is cable. So we're going to serve all the people who don't have that. In the next slide, I can show you the map. Oh, I'll go one, keep going down, I'll show you the map. More? Counts, yeah. So there it is. The blue dots have the speed, they're on cable. All the red dots are underserved. It's 539. Yeah. Um, so it's pretty considerable. Well, can we move it down? So if you're not on, on Comcast right now, so say you're again, underserved. So say, say, say again what the red and the blue dots mean. The red are all the underserved. So you're not, you get crummy DSL service. So it's most of the time, other than the village of Maple Corner. And is that this? Yeah, that's oh, Maple Corner. Corner. Yeah. And what's yeah. this? That's uh, East Callis. East Callis. The one that's, yeah. And what's this? It's all Route 14. Route 14 has cable. And this is? I have no idea how they got cable up there. What this is? That's up on the hill. That's up on Max Gray Road. Really? Um, Does it come from another town? Denise, can you scroll down a little bit? Oh, that's loose. So it's a weird why Comcast is up there. In it, there's no guarantee. There's no guarantee this data is correct. This um, is what the state of Vermont has put out. Is they served, could be, you mean the state could be wrong? The state oh. could be wrong. They rely on they rely on the vendors giving them the information. So there's some um, there's some Fairpoint legacy that claims to be twenty five three. That would be interesting. Yeah. That in my experience. Is not. No, but they count it. Yeah. Anyway, so that's the, So in terms of this underserved thing is critical, and this is something that's changed in the last. Well, what's year. this over here, David? Where? Here. Is this all? Route fourteen. That's, that's all route fourteen. Route 14. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's all route fourteen. Yeah. Okay. So all. So everything red is the, under underserved. And the, 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 the distinction in this, those are the only things we can get state. It would, it would have been good if your slide had said what red meant. Yeah, it's my fault. I did this on the car. Okay. Isn't yeah. it in the legend? I don't know if there's a legend. No, there was. I don't know, oh, David. Yeah, Jeremy's hiding it. You've inspired, you yeah, inspired to give your book club. Oh, there you go. Term. Red. So the, the, the reason that underserved is important is under the um, federal opera money, it has to go to underserved broadband places. And so the state of Vermont, which is managing, managing the state broadband money, they're only going to give us money to run to underserved houses. So. And that's 539? 539. Well, how can it, it seems like it should be so much more. Well, it's only, I go, now go up, I'm sorry, I wanted to give you the map. Keep going up. I think I got another slide. Oh, okay. So this is the you want plan. This, you want this slide? This is good. And you can stay right where you are. Okay. Um, because Callis is on this. So area A, which is Callis, East Montpelier, Middlesex, Moortown, and Worcester, there are 300 total miles. We are doing the full inventory right now and the high level design. All that will be done by December 31st. Detailed engineering for those 300 miles will be done next year. But the building we're going to do next year is only 150 houses, uh, miles, just 150 miles. And that would be all of the uh, underserved people in those, those towns. So how do you decide where, where the 150 miles are between the five towns? We know the, the routes. We, uh, we have to follow Washington Electric Co-op lines. And um, that, it's our best estimate. Mm -hmm. It's certainly not, not pure. No, but I mean, how do you, how do you decide Okay, it's the underserved versus the, the, the people who have, so it's, we're only going to serve in the first year those people who have no service right now. The 150 mile. Yeah. So anything that had a red dot is going to get service next year. By 2025, we hope to get everybody else. But you're only talking 150 miles in three, five towns. Yeah. So can you go back to the Callis map though? Yeah. So Callis has 80 miles. Of that 80 miles, perhaps. Where would that 80 miles be? The whole town has 80 miles of road, right? You know, something like close and to so, the road. And oh, so, so what you're That's saying you're is every red dot needs to be served 
and that's Next part year. of the 2022 plan. Yep. Okay. So all the people from North Calis who keep on calling me, yeah. <laughs> they seem to be the most vocal. They always are. Okay, well, I mean, Adam has nothing. I mean, it's, it's sort of an interesting. We can start whining if you Yeah, you should. You should. No. North no. Calis, <laughs> North Calis <laughs> has a lot of, you got to get on that, right? Yeah, no, well, they are. Interesting people. people. Yeah. So that's sort of the detailed overview plan of what we're doing. So we're going to hit the underserved next year in this, this area, and then won't be till 2025 that we come around and finish everybody else. Which is some of the blue. Which is all the blue. Um, because the blue already has... Has decent service, and we're going to have to borrow money. Oh, you see in a minute how much money we need. Yeah. You want me to move on? Yeah, go ahead. I think I can go on and get to the next one. Okay, so here's, here's the current picture of the cost of bringing five to Calus. Um, there are a total of 896 houses of which 539 are underserved. Um, What's this CV fiber build out? 25,640. Uh, is that the total for five where towns? Are, where right so above Cowles? That's all 21 towns. 21 towns? Yeah. <laughs> and so we have 6,907 underserved people in the 21 towns. And so Cowles is pretty underserved um, relative to other towns. Um, we're doing the poll inventory. So everything in blue, and this may not be that decent, we believe we're going to get state money to do. Um, it may not all be enough in the one year. And then the last column, so we have poll inventory that's going on now, design that's going on now. Make ready is the cost to make every, so the polls can take fiber. Bill, I can send this to you if you don't. Oh, I'll okay. 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 So, to replace a poll is between $4,000 and $4,500. A piece? A piece. So it adds up. We don't think we're going to have to replace a lot of poles, but we're going to have to replace a WEC. WEC's going to have to, we're going to have to pay WEC to replace the poles. And there are 1,636 poles in, in Calus? Calus, yeah. Wow, who knew? Yeah. And so the blue is on anticipating you know, state revenue or other funding to help pay for that. So what the last thing is the operations, but we're connecting the fiber to the houses. It's about $1,700 per property. And that would include running the fiber to the house and the equipment that would go in the house. So we're estimated to do the underserved premises at a 70% take rate, where there, we get 70% 70 of those 539 actually subscribe to the service. It would cost $641,000 to mm -hmm. connect them. Of non-state money? Of non-state money. Well, I mean, it could be state money if we had it. And so what I'm pitching to the town eventually for you to mull over and decide is in terms of the APA funding restrictions, it's supposed to be for use in the town. Mm -hmm. So this is the cleanest thing that I know that the town could fund that you could do the accounting on mm -hmm. and report back to Treasury that, yeah, this is what we did in town using our money, mm -hmm. our money that you gave us. Because I don't know if you've been following the League of Cities and Towns. Mm -hmm. the, the accounting is pretty, yeah, somewhat I've onerous. Been pretty and from what I gather, the watchful. League is going to develop a, a form for towns to use to do the reporting on. Right, right. And they need to. That'd be really helpful. So we would fill in, whatever you gave us, we would make sure that we mm -hmm. filled it in the way you need it filled in. Well, I think they're trying to, because I've been going to the meetings. webinars and meetings <laughs> and all that, and it's, you know, and they're, t and they're advising towns, don't rush into spending right. the money. Think about it. You know, we've had other requests yeah. for some of this money, which is yeah, and they, a project in town. Yeah. And so it's so, going to be something that's eligible, and mm -hmm. you need a way you know, the value of which one over another one or the right. percentage. I mean, right. I'm not expecting all your money, uh, take all your money, but, you know, depending on what you're, when you had a hearing on this and what people want right. to spend your right. money, right. money on, that's where it should go. Yeah. So when you say 1700 that's a per premise Yeah. Cost. That's how much it costs to get from the pole to your house, in and, the house. And the residents don't have to pay for that. Correct. That's the beauty of this one. Right. This is where where Comcast or somebody else may charge you to put the stuff mm -hmm. in your house and charge you for the modem and charge. 
this would be all done. Is there any easy way to, you know, survey people who actually would be willing to pay the seventeen hundred? It doesn't work that way. We will yeah. put that if they don't. If we don't do this, we'll put it into the monthly rate, and so you'll be paying higher monthly fees to Every, get the service. Everybody will. Be. Everybody will. Be, you know. Well, it's easier also for accounting to just correct to do it one um, way or the other, right? And we're trying to keep the rates low. Is sixty dollars around that number a month? So a month, and so anything that adds to that cost will just increase the subscription rate. So the goal is to make it as inexpensive as possible. And does it depend on how, because I'm, okay, so I'm going to ask questions that people are going to think I'm really stupid, oh, yeah, but you're I am, get tons. with this. Does it matter how many devices are hooked up to no. this particular? No. And there'll be different speeds. You'll be getting a minimum of 100, 100, and then it'll be 250, 500 to a gigabit. <coughs> so you'll be able to get, you know, if you really had, you, you know, say you're working at home, and you have a lot of files to go up and down into the cloud, mm -hmm. you'd want a gigabit service. Now, the, the way it's being built, everybody could have a gigabit service, which is super, super, super fast. Um, but not everybody needs that. Mm -hmm. You know, you're watching Netflix, you don't need gigabit. You, the whole family can watch Netflix, you don't need that. You mean yeah. different channels here? And you can have three Zoom say, you can have mm -hmm. three Zoom conversations going on at the same time. You could have, right. You, I mean, so our family of four, is crazy challenge with the internet we have yeah. now to mm -hmm. run Zoom. Right. But because that's going up and down, that's why you're challenged. But not for all four people to watch something streaming. Yeah. Something different or something the same? No, different. Yeah. Because because whoever wants to sit down and watch the same <laughs> thing anymore. Yeah, of course. Right. <laughs> so no. So so four four things streaming in is. We well, only have two now. Right, you know, <coughs> I'm just saying that's nothing. That's okay. nothing. So a hundred is like, you know, the whole <coughs> neighborhood can be. Yes. Really? Yeah. It's a lot. And, and, okay. and so it's regular households. You don't need. You don't. You, you don't, don't need, need all that. Well, you're going to be excited to have it. Yeah. Um, right. And the world will catch up. That's but right. I mean, if you start using it for health care, telehealth, you know, going back mm -hmm. and forth, right. but that's any of those things in five years from now that everybody's doing. Right. You're going to want the kind of bandwidth you can get. Right. But so. it, for now, what it will do is allow you to actually enjoy the things yeah. that you rely on it to do and, without being frustrated. And consistent. I mean, there'll be, Con no, exactly. there'll be, be no degradation. Right. Because the fiberglass, the fiber, these are all glass, and the light, it's all light, it's feel light. I, I think people actually will be able to work from home, which through COVID was such a fiction. You know, you know, the survey we did on, yeah. on usage at homes was phenomenal. I saw some of the houses that's that the one, yeah, three to I four feel, kids, I I both parents that. were working at home. And I'm saying, you gotta be kidding. <laughs> you know, you the, are kidding, it wasn't, the, it wasn't for real. Yeah. Yeah, they pretty, couldn't do it. No, you couldn't yeah, do it. You were, you were just uh, annoying pretty, everybody. Pretty, pretty, I, I, I see the need. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I've been doing this. Anyway, um, so that's, I don't, you know, I don't know when you're going to get to the point where you're going to say you can allocate money out of the AR, up, you know, upper money. Mm -hmm. But it'd be ni nice to know where you are in that process. Well, we're still right. Okay. So when are you going to start a process? Well, right now we're right now we're in the learning phase. Okay. And do you have a date for that? Not yet. Okay. Because things keep changing. What and does? They, they, well, they keep coming up with. They're going to help us do this, and they're going to help us do that. And okay. So I'm in that phase right now. We're also trying to find out what the comprehensive need is around town. Because yep. you're not the only group that... No, no, but there's only so certain eligible to, items. That's all I want. No, I get right. it. Right. Water, right. uh, water, sewer, water, right. and broadband. And, well, and then there's also things like the town office needs. You know, some, t some kind of equipment. And that's eligible. Oh, really, I didn't know what equipment was eligible. Um, well, certain office needs. Um, okay, so, so we're gonna, I, I have a well, I didn't bring it with me, but I have a list. Oh, good. I'd love of, to see that. But yeah. anyway, I guess from our perspective, it'd be nice to know at some point what it might be. I think we'll have when if we don't do a special, we might want to do a special meeting mm -hmm. to invite people to come in and learn about ARPA, talk about projects, projects, needs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'd be happy to present. Yeah. Anyway, so that's where okay. we are with the cost. 
Can, nice. can I get clear on one thing? I missed the part about Adam and Eve. You said was that? Oh, I'm undeserved. Yeah, it is. I know. I live in there. It is. <laughs> no, but what he was saying was that. Oh, they don't complain. That we don't whine enough. Like we don't whine enough. Squeaky North Cal, people in North Cal's call. They would send we me need emails. To be a Oh, to you or yeah, to me? Yeah, yeah, it's a, I mean, so I have to work at work because our. We need to get out. <laughs> yeah, buddy. <laughs> anyway, so here's the construction <clears throat> schedule summarized on one slide. Construction for yeah. all the industrial routes in 2022, drops and connections. Like Second priority is building out from this network and do the start of construction in 24 and do the drops in 24, 25. Now, what is, how is what you're doing for the second build out? Help me understand. Okay, that's going to go to people who have cable. Okay, so these... Because we want to connect everybody. Right. Uh, not everybody that's got cable is going to take our service. And I have to keep thinking cable's not cable TV. <laughs> right, right, yeah. So, and we'll probably end up borrowing money. You'll see in the next, is that the next slide? It shows you the budgeting piece. Yeah. So, we anticipate getting 20, $19 million from the state for... $9 million. Nine million for uh, CD fiber for the twenty-one towns, so, and then twenty twenty-three another five million from the opera money, and we have a goal of um, three million each year from towns. To from from the five center. towns. From twenty-one, 21 towns. towns. Twenty-one towns. <laughs> yeah. um, the infrastructure that's currently in Congress, we anticipate about seven and a half million would come to. CV fiber. So needing 49, 47,000, I feel like 47 million, we're still not going to, we're not going to have six. So when you 60. say CV fiber is 21 towns, there's how many other fiber districts? Eight others. Eight others. And they're getting the equivalent 9 million to 15 million. The Northeast Kingdom broadband is getting 16 million. I just saw something on the news last night about something in the Northeast Kingdom, some kind of um, broadband or something that they're doing. Yep. You know, you know about that, right? Yeah. No, they're, they're signed up an operator. Um, I can't remember the name of the company. Uh, there was, it's, they've signed a contract with NRTC, which is a national rural telephone um, engineering firm, and Waitsville Champlain Telecom. So the operator will be Waitsfield Champlain Telecom for that district, 55 towns. All the, I'm trying to think, so it's going to be 55 towns? It goes all the way, yeah, it goes. It goes all the way across? Yeah, mm -hmm. pretty much, to Franklin, to Lamoille. It goes all the way to Lamoille, all of, Cal all of Orleans, all of Caledonia, and all of Essex. Hmm. And so they, they have signed an agreement already. With that. Yeah, when I think, yeah, okay, when I think of Northeast Kingdom, it's yeah, St. John's very over yeah, that way, yeah. right? But it's, it's, it's a little lack than that. So yeah, I know the nine districts are competing with each other for the, the funding, and it's a little different. So we are, we're gonna, you know, year three, if we have, you know, we've been operating for three years and getting revenue for three years, we can then go to the Vermont Municipal Bond Bank. Right. And borrow the money to, right. to cover that truck. To cover, to cover. The full build up. The 23 or 24. Yeah, the 24, 24, 24, 24, 25 yeah. build out. Because we really need to have three years of operation. For the, for for the, the bond bank. The bond yeah. bank to even yeah. consider us yep. a viable entity. Yep, but right. you're not going to yeah. so, leave town. No, right. Anyway, so if you're not familiar, the, the legislature created the Vermont Community Broadband Board this year. It was under Act 71. There's a five member board representing you know, all kinds of different. <laughs> so, they, somebody that. The, Different fiber districts have to report to. What's the, um, what's the Yes, they're the ones that are putting out the rules for how you get the money oh, okay. and how you report on the money. Um, so there's, they're the ones doing the $150 million that was appropriated this year. They're setting design standards. And the other mission in Act 71 was their role is to support communication union districts and to oversee all the reporting requirements. I like that piece. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, it's. Pretty well, I mean, they've only been meeting for two months, and they've already gone. Who's on that board? So, the chair is um, Patty um, Richards. Richards, oh, I who's know retiring that. from WEC. Yeah, I know that name. Uh, Dan Nelson from Velco. Uh, Brian Otley, who's with a software company, he was with Green Mountain Power for about 
10 years easy. Mm. And then Laura Sebelia, the representative from um, Wilmington, she is the CUD's representative on the board. She's the one that, you know, basically pushed this act through the legislature and mm -hmm. knows it inside and out. And the last member is a woman by the name of, um, she was the president of Vermont Public Television, and I forgot, Holly Grossinger. And she's a lawyer who's pretty active, pretty vocal on the board. Yeah. And um, so it's, it's up and running. Um, they meet, they've been meeting every week. Now they're on a bi-weekly basis. Yeah, they're probably getting burnt out already. Yeah, it's intense. And plus the learning experience. Right. Some of them it's knew intense. something and others didn't know anything. Right. So the, the communication union of six have each made a presentation of what they've done over the last three years. Yeah. With our needs are and how we want to influence how they make decisions. They're asking for our input, but that doesn't mean they have to take our input. Right, right. So that's what, uh, just a piece that I don't think I've ever talked talk to the board about. So that's going on. Yeah, okay. And I don't know if there's one more slide or not. I don't, I hope not. No. That's, oh. Oh, here it is. Yeah. Now, so this is my pitch to you guys, and I'll make it when we're, you know, when you guys are closer. Right. Um, and this is, of course, different than this project you're going to get done by the end of December. Well, this, you know. When, we, when will you know if you have that grant? This week. Oh, okay. <laughs> if I don't have this grant, I don't know what I'm going to do. Because it's going to it's going to be thirty thousand dollars to run the fiber from Kent's Corner to right, Kent, and then seventeen hundred dollars per connection. So if we only just did the town office, it'd be about thirty thousand plus seventeen hundred. Mm -hmm. So we still have time to figure okay. that out. Um, but if we get the grant, it's great. Yeah, it, is, it would be great. Um, we, we have, have drafted a CD five at town. Of a funding agreement because Worcester and Middlesex and Moortown have already agreed to give us money. So we've been working with their town lawyers mm -hmm. to come up with an agreement. Um, the only one I think that's been finished is maybe, I don't even think Worcester's is finished. Um, but they have all, those three towns have been on board for a while. Um, and the last bullet, what was it? Oh, that we would be responsible for meeting whatever your reporting requirements were right. in the format that you needed in. Well, and we had heard initially that the reporting requirements are going to be pretty crazy. They are. And, but well, I, I think, not. but see, VLCT is coming up with a format. some kind of a format, so that will be really, really helpful. It's still a lot of work. Yeah, it is. Because we're doing, we're, I mean, the stuff we have to report to the state every month is incredibly detailed. Yeah. So okay, next steps. Next steps. What town discussion? I'd like to know when you're going to have a town meeting on priorities okay. and projects. Yep. Um, you've been doing the Q&A as we've been doing. Like the consideration when it comes to it. And um, there we have the last one. Good. So that's my Well, good. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you so Thank much you, for, and, uh, uh, for being, you know, doing this. Fly quickly. Yeah. No, it, it's, sure you know, it's been three <laughs> years and the last, we put out four RFPs, and these are all volunteers, right? Mm -hmm. So you got to get all the, the proposals in, then you got to go through them all, then you got to hire somebody, then you have to get a contract. And, and so this is a long process. The uh, yeah. developer operator agreement is going to take us a few months. Plus, we've been working with Washington Electric for two years, two plus years. But isn't that nice, though, that it's somebody local like Oh, yeah. 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 But yeah. getting to an agreement is a lot of Tough. give and right, take. Right, right. But, <laughs> but it's nice because it's still. Feels local. Oh yeah, no, it's a wonderful partnership. Yeah, yeah, no, it's great. I'm glad. And, uh, so, I don't know. Bill, did you get your way today? My what? Did you get your poll today? Did you get your? No, no polls today. No, this is Kent Corner. Come on, no polls. <laughs> just, just pulling, oh, yeah, pull, yeah. pulling a chain. Well, just to be clear, Kent Corner is the bottleneck that yeah, gets that service down here. By the way, it's not a bottleneck for you. Yep. The town office. Yeah. Oh, right, right. <laughs> but um, getting the, the fiber down here. I'm trying to get the contractor who's doing Belco's work to do the rest of the line. So, so, need, branding. so we have to do the engineering and get some more contracts. I don't think we're going to go to an RFP if they will do the, the um, continue Belco's contract. If it's already, already existing. Yeah. So... We'll see. Getting people to return your phone calls is really hard. It's that way everywhere. <laughs>
It's that way everywhere, and it, and it can be just, and it can be looking to buy something, and they still don't return a phone call. Mm. Unbelievable. So yeah, no, it's been busy, busy. Yep. And. Um, well, thank you so much for everything you're doing. Well, thanks. Thank for you very much. This is really exciting. Oh, it, it is. is very exciting. I was excited to see my house as a red dot. Oh, it is. Oh, it, there's a lot of red dots. Yeah, mine too. I don't know. He's conspired that way. There's a. I think maybe yeah. all of us. Oh, that, you know. I'm, Do we I'm all like, have to recuse ourselves? When you have the public discussion on how you want to allocate the money, yeah, you all have to excuse yourself. <laughs> no, I think this is. This is definitely. I think uh, we're kidding. This <laughs> hits a very broad reach of people. Yeah. No, we're kidding. So, now you got to do the process right. So yeah. You're gonna have yep. Mad people. And that's why we <laughs> want to have a process. Well, and and it, and I guess one thing worth saying is is it when the blue dots are cable mm -hmm. and and that's really it. Even DSL is red. Right. right. Mm -hmm. That's a pretty conservative draw. You're not trying to parse who has which DSL. You're just saying, no. let's Everybody stop has that. DSL's got that's it. stupid. DSL is, is not good. So, so that's, that's a very, yeah, that's a conservative. It's a simple way to look at it. Well, and it's also way above reproach. You're not parsing a hard line. Right. Yeah. And, you know, the way the, the money limitations are, that's the federal money wants to fund, is the yep. people not getting broadband. Right so, yep. Yeah. So good. Thank you, David. Good. Thank you really so much. Really exciting. You. Very and, exciting. Uh, I realized it was easier for me to come here than to go home Zoom. and reconnect my computer. Yeah, and it's so much better to do it like this. And so I appreciate this. And you got a brownie. Take another one. I did. No, one was that. Um, Thank, all you. Right. Thank you. Thank you so you. much. <laughs> Thank you. That is really exciting. It is very exciting. That's good. I mean, that's just Thanks. been such a, and the only Why thing I can say about the past year is that's it makes you, I mean, we've been, we have enough, we have enough DSL to think you're going to get to be frustrated. Mm -hmm. You yeah, know, I have DSL too. That's what we've got. It's, and then it doesn't work and you're apologizing and then. And then it just makes me think about the Northeast Kingdom where they really have nothing. Truly have nothing. Right. And, well, I, don't, and I, mean, I was lucky because I'm the only one. My husband very, very rarely goes on the computer. And if he does, he's just looking something up on something about tractors or something. Yeah, no. With and, the, uh, you know, it's not like he's trying to have meetings. Like multiple families have multiple meetings. And it just doesn't work. But even, even with that, you know, when we were doing the Zoom, a lot of times my internet was going to get interrupted because for whatever reason. Right. And I don't know if that's because I should have asked David. Does it matter like how many people in North Callis are on a Zoom meeting or using the internet at the same time? Does that matter? I think it does. My understanding with the DSL service is that it, it, it matters how far you are from the post or whatever. And mm -hmm. how many people are tapping that line? Yeah, it is. Yeah, I don't even know. Down. I don't even know where the post is in my area. Well, I, I know we ran into the issue where we are. We didn't even have DSL. We only had dial up until the triplets were in 10th, 11th grade, and so we'd have to take the kids to work to use the internet. The internet because yeah. it would take an hour. I mean, they had to do homework. I know they used to come and visit. Then, I remember. But that. With that I, whole, I would make them popcorn. I'd take them in. We did also, you know, but I think we saw, you know, in the past year, like mm -hmm. Melanie working on her attorney general work and then me on my work and then yep. we had a kid in school and then one doing her job. I couldn't. I had to work at it. I yep. was getting booted off all the time. And yeah. So we need to do, yeah. um, I don't think there's any other updates that I can think of. Um, I have... I have another an item of other business. Oh, okay. But um, I don't know where we are. Where are we? That's we're not there yet. Review minutes. I do want us to go into executive session. Mm -hmm. So, um, would you like to do minutes? I looked at them. I have to go back. I looked at all the ones I went to earlier. Yeah, I some reviewed. Of I, some of them I've been through already. I reviewed them all. Um, and I saw your changes and didn't have any issue. Um, how do we get back to the minutes folder? 
All right, Katie, where's the minutes folder? It's it um, up top further, right? Well, let's go through it. Let's, let's at least do a few minutes. This is August 26. Um, oh, I was here that day. I didn't, did I look at that one? Yeah, I did. Um, my name has two N's in it, FYI. It looks like I even wrote it wrong. Yeah, you did. <laughs> so, um, is there any other problem or comment on the August 26 minutes? Rick and John were not there. Thank you, Katie. Okay, sorry, I missed it. Um, or is that you? No, it was Katie. All right, so I would make a motion to approve the August 26 minutes as revised. Sharon, did you want to second that? Second. Okay. Um, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 I'll just abstain since I wasn't there. Okay, and Mark, I didn't hear you. Did you? He said aye. 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 <coughs> Thank you. All right, now I have to figure out how to get to the next. How do I go back from this, Katie? Um, up at that the top, you can choose the tab, tab. I can't understand why two people is, talk at the same time. Say what? Up at the top of the page, you could just close the tab that this document is open in. Just close it? It looks like, see how at the very, very top of your screen. It's hiding under zoom like up at the very top. That's the problem is that, yeah, there you go. Oh, yep, there you go. And I don't, oh, I don't want to disconnect. No, no. I just want to get. Just ready. move the zoom bar down to the bottom for now. Oh, there you go. 913. Okay, this was not a special meeting. This was a regular meeting. Oh, this was this one, okay. Katie, always you do such a good job. Okay, um, would anybody like to make a motion to approve the September 13th minutes? It's so moved. With, as noted, with changes. Second. Okay, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 Okay. Um, let's do the 20th. That was a special meeting. Everybody good with those? I make a motion to approve the... Is that one that I was not at? No, you've got a note right here. Yep, yeah, okay. Special meeting minutes of September 20th. It's so moved. Okay, I'll second it. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Oops. All right. <coughs> you want to do more? No. No? Okay. And did you want to do other business before we went into executive session? I, my other business is that I, I received from a resident the other day a request that we consider developing a junk ordinance. Yeah, I've had a similar request. That's all I have to say about that. Okay. Probably the same. Could Maybe be the same person. Could be. And yeah, it's on the list. If, if you tell them it's on the list of select board future agenda items. Okay. Um, all right. So um, the only other thing under other business, um, we did the site visit. Rick, you were there. Um, and we felt like we would really like to hear from some additional residents that weren't able to attend because it was on a weekday. So we talked about doing another special meeting site visit. And we're looking at, um, this, what, what did I say? Oh, that right here, duh. Saturday the 16th at 10 a.m. 
So whoever can come, if you've already come and you don't feel like you want to come again, that's fine. We may have a conflict that day, but okay. I'm not sure. If I can okay. make it, I will. Yeah, I can, it was, it was a really, it, you know, it was really, really helpful yeah. to do the site visit and see where these folks live yeah. um, and what they're talking about that they're concerned about. It was really, really helpful. Mm -hmm. So we want to make sure we give everybody an opportunity, and some people would have liked to have come, but they couldn't. So, and then um, October twenty fifth, BOA at six o'clock. All right. Okay. And um, we have we have I saw right that we have a quorum or was there? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We'll do it. Okay. So. Um, and the 25th, Denise, we're on for the 20. I got, um, on, in terms of Curtis Pondam, that's on for the 25th, right? Yes. And we have, I, I just want to make sure because a letter went out notifying the Curtis Pond Association. So. Yeah, because that MOU was sent to Jim. Right. Yeah, and good. And I've asked okay. him to attend. Right. Okay. I haven't. We haven't come up with the time yet for for that, so we'll have to work that out. Right. Okay. okay. Thanks for the reminder. All right. So, could we go into executive session? I make a motion to go into executive session. So moved. I made a motion. So is that a second? You have to say what it's for. Oh, for, for personnel. Sorry. Personnel matters. Where's my list of? One for I think it's one v VSA three thirteen and I think it might be A. I think it's I think it's C three. Okay. But I'll get you I'll get you the right section of the statute, Katie. But it's section three one three. I've got it. Oh, you do. Okay, great. I think it's for yeah, and for for personnel, isn't that what's most important? Is we say what we're going yeah. in for? Yeah. Yeah, it's personnel matters. Yeah. I'm so tired. Oh, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 Thanks aye. for keeping us on track. Yeah, sometimes we forget. <laughs>